So it's been a really upsetting last couple of days finding Varroa mite in our three new colonies, which we only set up in December. We picked them up in December. So this is our second time dealing with Varroa. If you've been following me for a while now, uh, from Newcastle, I think it was 2022, we had to shut down two hives. When the first uh, breakout happened here in Australia, we were right in the firing line. So it's really upsetting just to see your poor girls, you know, crawling literally in these little mites. As you can see, I'm literally walking off her and over there and literally just sucking the energy straight out of them. And they can barely even fly. So I've just busted open uh, two of my boxes here uh, to find out that recently I've had both of co the colonies swarm. They've just basically just packed up and left everything. They've just, yeah, they're mid midway making honey. We've got heaps of capped honey in here. There's very little pests that I can see. There's a few black hive beetles in and there was a little bit of um, some other kind of um, caterpillars in there as well, which probably from the, uh, the wax moth, I think. But yeah, there's a little bit of honey in here and wax we'll be able to get. Um, but this is the box here that I've seen the dead bees crawling out of with the Varroa. So I'm down here in the brood box here and yeah, as I thought, things aren't looking really good. We've basically just got this remaining part of the bee colony here across these sort of three frames and there, there's very little of them left here that are still hanging on. And I'm just gonna try to zoom in here, see if you can see what's going on. Um, you can just see the mites attached and crawling all over these bees. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty heartbreaking to see how quickly this Varroa can get in and really collapse a, a good strong colony. This this colony here was probably the ones that were, uh, were producing the most honey uh, for us uh, last summer. So the process from here is I'm still going to add uh, these two strips in here just to treat this uh, hive and this colony here for the Varroa, and then I'm going to look at um, freezing the frames uh, for at least a couple of days just to make sure I can knock any uh, surviving Varroa uh, mites there on the head and then decontaminate this whole area, do a big clean up, maybe do a little burn off and just to try to, yeah, re-establish from here and uh, give it a bit of a resting period maybe and look at setting up again once I feel the coast might be clear to reset up again. But yeah, a hard lesson to learn here is, um, yeah, just monitor, monitor your hives a lot more often than um, what, you th what you think you should be doing. And I have just located the queen of this colony here. So all the rest of the colony has headed off and swarmed and this queen's still here. What a bizarre case, and this other bee is just following it around, checking it out, saying hello, harassing it. So that's, um, that's a final wrap there. Uh, pretty devastating news, as you can see. Um, look, I'm probably gonna make a call. I think the whole three of my colonies have swarmed and the bees that were in this last hive here that I've just finished closing up and setting those traps, I think that was um, some other bees that were coming in robbing uh, that have probably brought in the Varroa. So my plan is here is just to uh, manage and treat these ones here just to knock them on the head to make sure they're not gonna get around and spread it to any other bees. Um, and probably just unfortunately have to squish them all here and do that clean up here, as I said on site, just to try to contaminate it. Um, yeah, we're in the Mount George area, uh, pretty close to Werrell Flat. Uh, there was a case uh, very early on, well over a year ago, um, where the Varroa was picked up in Werrell Flat. So it's a, there's a good chance in this Manning Valley area it probably is out within the wild bee colonies would be my, my call and my prediction. 
Um, it's just going to have to be really um, on, on top of monitoring, really, to make sure that um, it doesn't further get out of control and really devastate the, uh, the, the bee industry here, the apiary um, industry, because it's going to mean a massive flow on effect into our food uh, chain um, in, with pollination, the cost of honey, uh, the cost to produce honey, their, their costs are going to go up with dealing with these treatment programs and losing colonies as well. Um, yeah, look, it's uh, other countries have obviously managed it. That's our turn now uh, and see if we can get through it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you got this far, uh, please feel free, free to share any, um, any tips or advice that you might have in the comments below, which is obviously going to help other beekeepers um, new like myself and someone uh, that's been doing it for a few years or, or a couple of decades. Uh, we're all here to teach each, each other uh, what we know and share the knowledge. Um, thanks for tuning in. Happy beekeeping, guys. See ya.